Welcome to today's Flow and Grow. Today we are going to be working on um, lower back and stretching it out, making it feel better, and um, creating some flexibility back there. So I hope you enjoy. Let's go ahead and get started. So coming, we're going to start in a seated position today. So let's start with the hip scoot and finding ourselves fully in contact with the ground beneath us. Inhale and bringing our shoulders up and exhaling and driving them down towards the ground, softening through the belly, softening through the jaw. Inhale and exhale. Just sitting with our thoughts for a moment, noticing what's swirling around in there, becoming cognizant. Allow the waters, the swirls, to become a little slower, settling. Notice your breath becoming more still and slow. Notice your heart slowing your mind and the energy between each cell and your body feeling like maybe it should slow too. Not in a way that leads to discomfort, but in such a way that knows there needs to be space and time between each new event in the last. Inhale. Exhale, begin rounding into cat seated. Bring your chin to chest. Inhale, rocking onto the interior part of your pelvis and lifting the chin. And exhale, back onto the tailbone and sacrum, rounding the spine, tucking the chin. Inhale up, cow, chin comes up one more time, rocking back. Feel that space between each shoulder, inhaling cow, exhaling back to our neutral position, lifting the top of the head, finding yourself fully engaged with the mat or ground beneath you, deep breath in, and as you exhale, rocking to the left. Exhale, inhale up, exhale rocking to the right. And again, inhaling up, exhaling rocking to the left. Inhaling up and as you exhale, rocking to the right. And now allowing your belly to come towards the mat. Dropping to your forearms and elbows, deep breath in. And we'll take that right hand and walk it forward. And as you exhale, bring the left hand up towards that left knee, the fingertips touching down into the ground so the elbow lifts as well, and begin slowly pressing those fingertips into the ground so that you can twist yourself to the left. Deep breath in. And as you exhale, bring the 
opposite side. I'm going to move my block. So bring the fingertips right in front of that right knee, pressing those fingertips into the ground, lifting that chest and slightly turning to the right. And as you exhale, coming back down, fingertips up and reaching down to the left. Inhale up, down to the right, and again. Inhaling up, exhaling down. And what we want to do, we're going to do that routine again, but we want to make sure that we're balancing our body. So whatever foot or leg you had placed in front of you first, go ahead and switch. And you will probably notice that what you're doing is you're going to a side that you don't typically do. Not everybody, but a lot of people, when we sit crisscross applesauce or easy pose, we tend to go to... Um, we tend to put the leg in front that we always do. It's the side that we're most comfortable with. You can actually probably see right now the struggle I'm having about where to place my leg because I don't typically put my left underneath or in front. So take a moment and this is a good challenge emotionally and mentally for us to kind of notice where this is, if this is unsettling for you. If maybe you don't even notice the difference, you're already pretty balanced. Maybe it's slightly uncomfortable. Maybe it's so uncomfortable that it's very hard to focus on anything else. That's okay. We're not fighting against that. We're just noticing and accepting that. And when you accept that, and as you exhale, allow the knees to fall closer to the mat and your body to relax, cueing the mind to release some of that tension as well without any force. Inhale, sitting nice and tall. And as you exhale, coming down to the right, Inhale up, exhale down to the left, inhale up, exhaling down to, oh, actually left, I'm sorry, I'm watching myself. <laughs> inhale up, exhale down to the right, inhale all the way up, and walk the hands forward once more, very slow. placing them in front of the right knee, pressing the fingertips into the ground and twisting once more, lifting the chin and the gaze up towards the ceiling, deep breath in. And on this next exhale, pressing that left hand fully into the ground. Inhale, exhale. fingertips into the ground, twisting to the left and pressing that right palm firmly into the ground. Yourself all the way up, finding yourself back into the position that it feels best for you, sitting nice and tall. Exhale, beginning some hip rotations. Inhale, coming back up, taking our legs out, grabbing your pillow, your blocks, your books, your stack of boxes, whatever you have, and bringing your feet out until you feel that edge once more. Take a deep breath in, adjust until you feel both sit bones fully grounded, and slowly begin to come forward, rounding through the back, bringing your chin down to your chest, lengthening through the spine, allowing it to relax and some mild flexion. Notice if you're clenching your teeth or finding some tightness in the jaw, release and relax. (sighs) 
Inhale, slowly bring the chin up. Take your block or pillow, walk it out in front of you. And we want to try to keep the back nice and long. Now suppress so those fingertips into the block. Nice, long back, deep breath in. Exhale. We're not going to stay here too long. We don't want to put strain. We just want to build some strength. So taking your block right behind that left foot and left ankle, reaching your left hand. Inhale, bringing the right hand up. And as you exhale, bringing it over to the block, stretching through the right hip. And if you want, you can bring your elbow and your hand up, or you can bring it all the way down. Deep breath in. And as you exhale, bring your torso towards your thigh and reach down, press the left elbow into the ground or the block. Deep breath in. Inhale up slowly and then turning back to center. Maybe rounding for some cat cows and taking that block on the back side of the right leg. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, reaching over. And again, if you want to bring your hands up or down, however it feels for you. Inhale. And as you exhale, bringing that torso towards the thigh. You might want to keep your right hand on the block, but you can also place it on the foot. Deep breath in. Inhale, slowly coming up with control. And then turning to center, coming into butterfly. Sometimes really tight lower backs have a lot to do with our hip flexors and our psoas muscles. So we're gonna go ahead, externally rotating the legs to stretch the inguinal region and the hip flexors. Deep breath in. Exhale, allow the knees to fall towards the mat. Deep breath in. Exhaling once more. Inhale, exhale, coming into staff pose. We're gonna do a modified staff. So take your block, place it behind you. Bring your elbows to hug the block. Allow your lower black back to rest on the block. And then very slowly coming down all the way so that the block is right underneath your lower back, gently arching it. Allow your legs to rotate externally. Deep breath in. It just feels nice. But we don't want to stay here too long, so inhale. Bring your chin to your chest first. Bring your hands and elbows down to the ground and lift back up. And let's go ahead and come into our tabletop position. Once you're in your tabletop, exhaling into cat. Inhaling into cow. Exhaling cat. Inhaling cow. Exhaling cat. One more time. And let's take our block, place it behind us, and rest in our modified, our varied child in our block for comfort. Deep breath in, coming back up into our table. And we're gonna very slowly stretch into our puppy. So bringing that left hand forward first, stretching to the side body, looking up towards the right. Turn our gaze back to center and stretch out the right hand, coming all the way down. The chest all the way down, the tailbone up. Bit of a, an interesting pose, but it really stretches the lower back and activates the upper back. So inhaling. <sighs> Walking yourself back up to your table. Exhale, put the left hip out and rotate back. And then put the right hip out and rotate back. Inhaling, let's do that one more time. This time, walking the left hand out all the way down and reaching up, looking up, 
Come all the way back up and then walking the right hand out. Exhale, bring your gaze back to center and then walk both hands as far away from the top of your head and bring your chest down to the mat, the tailbone up to the ceiling. Inhale, exhale. We're gonna come out of that, back into our tabletop. We're not gonna do any full sun salutations today since we're working on the lower back. But we do wanna do a few downward dogs. So tuck those back toes, deep breath in, and exhale, downward dog, lifting the tailbone, walking the feet down the mat, and walking the hands away from you if you need to, pressing the fingers and the palms deeply into the mat, lifting the tailbone, deep breath in. Exhale, rocking yourself down and coming into upward dog, inhale. Exhale, child's pose with our Again, inhale back up to our tabletop, tuck the back toes, moving a little bit faster just to generate some heat. Walking the heels. And when you're ready, inhale, we're coming all the way down to the belly. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Come back down to our child's pose. One more time. Come back up to the tabletop. Tuck the back toes and exhale, downward dog. <sighs> Inhaling, not necessarily a high plank, just very slowly coming down. And then inhale once more, upward dog. Exhale, splaying the knees into frog at the edge of the mat. And then bringing our forearms down. So earlier when you did butterfly, you were stretching the internal part of the leg of the hip flexor. Now we're gonna stretch the external part a little bit and more of the backside of the leg. So knees are splayed, feet are parallel to knees, but they can walk inward a little bit if that's just too much for your hips. Deep breath in. Exhale, slowly come up out of that by leaning into your forearms. Bring your knees in. Come back down to your... Coming up nice and tall to our knees for hero. Deep breath in. Little micro bend in the back here. Exhale, hands at heart center. And bringing our left knee out, just a right angle, no, no deep lunge here in our hip. I'm gonna kind of steer clear of that today, focusing just on the back, a little bit on the hips. Inhale up, and as you exhale, bring, woo, bring the right hand to the left knee. And you can bring the left hand out, deep breath. Inhale, and coming back to center. Hands down on the ground, tuck the back toes, back up to your downward dog. <sighs> Inhale, exhale, down to your knees once more. And bringing the right leg forward, and again, a right angle, finding your balance here. Walking back onto that leg. Inhale, arms up. And as you exhale, taking the left hand onto the right knee. And that right hand can open up if you want. It can stay near your ear or right in front of you. Inhale back to center. Exhale, hands back down on the ground. Tuck the back toe and back to downward dog. If the block is in your way, go ahead and gently move it. But keep it near you. Come back down onto your belly. be on the long side. Walk your elbow. Lift the chin, lift the shoulder. Okay. 
Exhale, let yourself all the way down. Notice any discomfort that's starting to leave the lower back. breaths here. Recalling each moment between movement is pivotal to your well-being and to your actual muscles that are strengthening and stretching. Fully engaging in the posture, but also in the rest. It's critical in his yoga. prepared for our locust. Locust can be a very challenging pose, so if you don't want to be fully active in it, you can take your blankets or your pillows or your blocks and place them and set up to show you this variation. It's a little more accessible, a little more comfortable too. However, if you like that, that heat and that challenge, you can go in your full locust when I cue. All right, so if you're gonna use the variation, you're gonna keep your forehead down on the ground and just allow the blocks on their lowest height to be underneath the shins or underneath the feet so that they're slowly and gently lifting the feet and placing a curvature in your lower back. Without the assistance of blocks. And on the inhale, you're going to slowly begin lifting just your feet off the back. Your pelvis, your belly, chest, face engaged. And then repeating. active locust or if you're more I'm out of the way and continuing with that pattern of stretching our psoas lifting the left leg reaching back with the left hand and begin stretching through the quads deep breath in if you're a runner you'll be familiar with this stretch Other side, inhale, reaching back for that right leg. Inhale, and as you exhale, release. Onto your side, and then onto your back. Grab your blocks or your blanket or pillow if it's not near you. First thing is to hop knees, be a roly-poly, rolling side to side, hugging the knees, drawing circles, and then the opposite way. 
let the back come into that flexion once more by rounding. You could even lift your knees, lift your lower back slightly off the mat. Exhale, bring it back onto the mat. Inhale, press the knees towards your chest, lifting the lower back. Exhale, back down onto the mat one more time. Inhale, lift, release, and then take that block. First, on its lowest height, placing it right underneath the sacrum and allowing the block to stretch your lower back to begin creating space between some of those muscles not as much the vertebrae when you get to the sacrum it's fused so you're not going to create space in the vertebrae as much but you will in the muscles surrounding it and hopefully it'll stop some of that compression on some of those nerves a little more sensitive in that area and that's why we have a lot of low back pain that and our core being weakened as we age Deep breath in. Draw your feet closer to your backside. Make sure they are at the same level as one another. And then walk them about hip width apart. Deep breath in. Make sure that your gaze and your head are aligned as well with your um, heart and chest. Everything's in a nice long line. Deep breath in. You're going to slowly lift release and then place it on the mid height so not the tallest height but the mid height and placing it at the same spot right underneath tailbone maybe about a couple centimeters higher just for balance if it's one of the foam blocks it's not quite as stable as the cork ones And we're allowing this block to do the work for us. Notice if your leg muscles, especially the hamstrings and glutes, are tightening. Allow them to relax. You might have to walk your feet out a little, and that's okay. Notice the hips. Softening all that musculature in the lower body will allow the lower back to release some of that tension that it's hanging on to. Inhale. On your next inhale, slowly lift. Now allow your back to come all the way down. Hug your knees. One active bridge, so placing your feet back down, close to your backside, hip width apart. Roll your shoulders underneath you, deep breath in, and lift for an active bridge. So engaging those glutes, engaging that pelvic floor and core. Chest is loose and open and able to breathe. <sighs> Inhale. And as you exhale, very slowly imagine a line from your tailbone to the ground and you want to stay on that line, your hips tend to want to go side to side as you lower from your bridge. We want to keep it nice and straight and stable. All right. Fantastic. Bring your left leg over your right. Twist those roots. Little bend if you want. Inhale, arms at a T-shape. And as you exhale, twisting to the right and taking your gaze to the left. you like to unravel those roots and bring that left leg up as if you were kicking a soccer ball. Inhale, take that left leg 
into your right hand and slowly turn onto your back once more. Straighten both legs. Feel your tailbone engage with the ground beneath it. Take a moment before we switch sides. And when you're ready, cross the right leg over the left. Bend slightly at the knee and allow your legs to fall to the left as you look to the right. And again, use your blocks and blankets. If that's too much of a stretch, you can place the block underneath the knee. Allow it to rest. Notice too, if one side needs more assistance than the other, meet it where it is. Inhale, if you want to go ahead now at this point, unravel the legs. Allow that right leg to still remain on top, but coming out a little bit, making that kicking motion once more. Deep breath in, slowly disentangling yourself, allowing your entire back to meet the floor, finding yourself in kind of a starfish position, placing your hands on your belly right near the belly button, inhale, exhale. Keeping the jaw relaxed as well as the eyes. Noticing your breath become longer. Slowly come back. Open your eyes.
Make your way onto your side. <sighs> Place one hand down on the mat and then the other and then press yourself all the way back up. Relaxing the shoulders, keeping a soft gaze. Inhaling deeply, exhaling fully. Noticing that space, that comfort that now seeps into the muscles in your lower back. Hands at heart center. Thank you for joining me. I hope you love this class. See you next time. Bye.